Citizens of the world, I would like to thank you for electing me your leader. I am now in charge of your entire lives. Today, we have been sponsored to check out Democracy 4. Democracy, the game about running nations, being a president, prime minister, or just generally world leader, and trying to make the right decisions, or maybe at least some interesting decisions. Now, Democracy is a game that I'm actually very much into. Back when I was a school teacher, it's one of the games that I used to sort of show kids how complicated things can be. Now, there's always going to be discussions on the accuracy of simulation in simulation games, but Democracy 4 does an amazing job at just showing how so many things are interconnected with each other, and you never quite know how people are going to react. So, today we're going to be checking out Democracy 4. It is releasing. If you'd like to check it out yourself, there are all the links down below. It's on all the stores. Whichever store that you want, it's there, so go ahead and click those. Anyway, let's go ahead and encounter Democracy 4. Alright, here we are in the game, and I would like to just jump into a new game. Ah, ah, so I've meddled around in this a little bit, and I think I'm ready to lead a nation. Or at least I'm ready to try. <laughs> Starting up a new game, we have a number of countries to choose from. There's, and the number of stars you see under them is the difficulty level for this particular setup. Now, I'm not assuming that these difficulty levels are in any way related to real life difficulty in governing these nations. It's just, it's for the game. It's for the game. So we've got the United States of America, the United Kingdom, uh, Japan, France, Canada, Australia, Spain, Germany, uh, Italy, and South Korea. Now, because I'm may maybe not quite as experienced as I should be, uh, I should probably pick something a little bit lower down. And you know what? The first one on the list is the United States of America, so why not? Uh, each of these uh, countries have various adjustments uh, on how they particularly behave. So, you know, the UK has more things to do with coal. Um, Japan has... Uh, there's, oh, there's so much. One of, the, one of the most daunting, but also one of the coolest things about democracy and uh, democracy for especially you can see here is that there is so so much to it it's not just oh yeah do this thing and this thing happens no you do one thing and a million things could happen and you're always trying to get re-elected anyway let's just pick united states of america and play Nice to have some options here. We've got difficulty, which is how sensitive are your political antenna? Um, innate socialism, economic cycle, starting debt, innate liberalism, political apathy. I'm just going to leave it all on default for now, okay? We can turn on compulsory voting or have up to three parties if we want to be competing in a three-party system. Uh, but you know what? Uh, there's... Oh, these are all the... The, the names we can choose from. You can, of course, just type in your own name. And we are... Zakalitan League. That's who we are. Color, um, there's all these presets, but we can just make it... Yeah, okay. Colors, black. Okay. On the other side... Do I, do I want... The absolute unit party <laughs> will make you gold. <laughs> They're an absolute unit. Our opposition versus the Zakalitan League. Let's go ahead and press play. Blaming previous government, you know. They, they messed everything up. We're, we're just, just going to try our best to recover from their mistakes. Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as president. The lives of all 328 million citizens are now in your hands. 
as you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. Here we are. <clears throat> President Zach on the job. Our GDP looks average. Our health looks average. Our education looks average. Unemployment... Well, unemployment being middle seems high. Crime, very high. Poverty, not so bad, actually. Now, th this is the situation that we've been given. By the way, in the options, you can randomize start situations, so it could be anything. Um, so we won with a majority of 10%. This will give you some political power to implement your policies. Begin term of office. Oh, there are circles on the screen. Now, don't be scared. When you first look at this, I know, if you've, if you've not played democracy, you're thinking, What? How? What? Is this a game? Or is this an infographic? Well, it's kind of both. Now, this is a game about governing. So governing is about policies and choices and bars and graphs and all of that. Now, let's just let me just explain the basics of this. So th this section here, this this is where the main stuff, this is the meat of the politics right here. And the, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections. And if you mouse over, it just says it right there. One of the huge, ooh, that's, that's yeah, I'll get to that. One of the huge, huge impressive things with democracy and it's been getting better every version democracy 4 is the user interface because this is a user interface game the, the UI is so so important how do you take all of this data and make it in any way comprehensible to not politicians to us gamers how oh. and yeah so there's these seven sections, and if you mouse over, it says in the back what it is. Law and order, transport, foreign policy, welfare, economy, tax, and public services. So we've got these sections. This fist in the middle is our political power, which comes from our advisors and how well we do in the election. So we have 17 fists per turn. Each turn is a quarter of a year. It's three months. And you can see up here, this bar, each turn takes three months and it's 16 turns to the next election. So we've got 16 turns to, to convince people to vote for us again. Now, what, 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 what's our goal? What do we do? What, what do we even do here? Like the, these white circles here are policies. So each one has its own stuff. So, for example, here, this is a race discrimination act, which is turning down. So red means lowering, and that doesn't always mean bad. That thing up there, that's racial tension. We want that to go down, right? But over on this side, you see how it's um, affecting voter groups. So on the left here, there are voter groups, right? So these are all the people who could vote for us. And the the main color bar is how much they like us. So right now, most people don't like us. Um, these are the starting situations we've been given. Uh, the light bar behind the colored bar, so you see like the top one, capitalist, the light bar, that's how much population is in there. So you see everyone is a full bar uh, and almost everyone is a capitalist and the capitalists don't like us very much so if I look at our popularity it's pretty low <laughs> so this isn't just about making the choices that you feel is right this is like when I was a teacher when I was a teacher you can't just do whatever you feel is the correct right thing to do because quite often doing the right thing will get you fired um, so you have to make compromises. And that's probably why I used this game when I was a teacher as well, because I was vibing really hard with how, <laughs> how the internal politics were all playing out. Anyway, this is a video game. Um, 
here, here's where our imperative comes from. These small orangish reddish circles are current situations, right? So these white things are policies. Uh, these blue things are, you know, uh, things, you know, bus usage, statistics, rail usage, right? The things that are probably foreign investment, not, not so, you know, foreign aid receipt, that sort of thing. These red circles are situations, bad situations, and we should be trying to solve them, right? You can see antisocial behavior is negatively affecting tourism, right? It's positively affecting crime. Well, by positively, it's increasing. Sorry, these, this is not negative or positive. It is reducing tourism, increasing crime, right? So see that green line going to crime? That's bad, right? That's bad. We want that to go down, right? Tourism, we want that to go up. That's new money. Um, so we want to be solving these things. There can, if we do a good job, end up with little, we could end up with little green circles. So let's let's try, oh. You, you want to see how complicated things are? Okay. These are all the things affecting capitalists. And also, let's just mouse over the GDP. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, what do we do? What's good? What's bad? Oh, okay. We're going to have to mess around with for a little bit before we actually understand everything. <laughs> this, 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 this is the, the point I was trying to make when, when I share this game with people. Is that things are often a little bit more complicated than you think. Uh, whether you know, things are happening as you would expect them to, or um, what you think will happen with your choice. Would it actually happen? Like, th this is a simulation game, right? We, we don't know if you implement this stuff in real life, whether it actually play out how it does. But it's, as far as I can tell, Democracy 4 is trying its very best to, to make things work as realistically as possible. And I, I have a difficult time imagining how to do this better. Meanwhile, top left, just the note, income, expenditure, deficit, deficit, uh, and our current debt, not, not so great. All this stuff, this is seeing things like our uh, intelligence briefings for sec the security briefings. We've got, uh, I'm going to come back to that. We've got our graphs for things. Oh, someone just threw up on that last one. Uh, pie charts and more graphs. Uh, but basically, this all... Oh, this is where we implement new policies, which we can actually do. Nice tip. Just right-click. Ooh. We want to implement a new public services uh, policy. Right-click there. Public service. Oh, nice. See, that's the kind of little UI things that, that I like. Um, achievements. We've got achievements. Uh, and... We've got our cabinet ministers, which they all have their stats, uh, and we can fire them if we want. And... Oof, the parties. Electioneering. We've got parties, manifestos, speeches, fundraising, and perceptions where we do media stunts to convince people that we're not such a bad guy. Uh, th this is probably closer to election time. Okay, let's, let's try and make some people happy, right? The capitalists. We've got a lot of them. How do we make you happy? So there's a number of things. I like filtering by strength. So these are the things that are making them happier. The GDP is good, 17.66% up. Uh, they like our cabinet minister, plus 5%. Uh, some other, you know, all our policies and the strength or weaknesses of those policies affect these. Let's have a look at the things that are upsetting them. Income tax, they don't like that. Corporation tax, they don't like that. Uncompetitive economy. Okay, that's something we might be able to look at. So uncompetitive economy should be here. So this is a negative, a bad situation. It triggers when it goes up into that red line and it will disappear when it drops below the green line. So can we drop it? So things that are dropping it, keep in mind, it can get confusing, the red and green here. Red and green does not mean good or bad. It just means up or down. So we want this to go down. So productivity is dropping it. Good. Wages is dropping it. Okay. Minimum wage is pushing it up. Yes. Payroll tax and corporation tax. So 
If we drop corporation tax, we could make the economy more competitive and make the capitalists happier. So you see as we drag this around, it has effects on the, these bars. So we can drop its effect on uncompetitive economy. Um, socialists will like us less, but the capitalists, wealthy and self-employed, will like us a bit more. So, uh, but no, no serious changes. So let's drop this to there. And it's going to take a six fist to do this. We're going to drop corporation tax. Apply. Confirm. We've made a decision. Decision made. First choice. As we're elected into office, drop corporation tax. Because we're trying to earn votes. Okay. Gotta stay in power. <laughs> um, maybe we can work on something else. Anti-social behavior. This is, this is a bad thing. We should try and fix this. Um, vandalism, public nuisance, petty street crime. So this is where it is now. It's currently at 78%. It needs to drop to... Uh, well, quite a lot. So community policing is helping to drop it. CCTV cameras... Unemployment, alcohol consumption. Okay, so maybe we can boost community policing. It's going to cost us more money. Oh, we're going to drive our... You know, maybe this is not the, the best choice. What else? CCTV cameras? Uh, liberals hate it. Crime goes down. Violent crime goes down. Conservatives like it. Liberalism goes down. Anti-social. This is this is quite good and not that expensive. How many fists do I have? Okay, how how high do I want this? I guess this is fine, right? It's actually not that. Yeah, let's let's max out CCTV cameras. Apply. Okay, good. We've made two choices. We've dropped corporation tax, and we've put CCTV cameras everywhere, and now we're out of fists. So that's all we can do uh, this quarter. Um, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Let, let's go to the next turn. <laughs> turn one complete. Oh, okay. All right, so here we are. Quarterly report. We've got a new report. What's, what's happened? What's happened? Uh, the GDP, I think, looks a little bit better. Crime looks maybe a little bit lower. Well, we'll see how it is. Situation imminent. Our data is showing that we will have a potentially bad situation. Drug addiction on our hands if we don't act soon. Okay. There's a transgender military ban. We now have our first openly transgender serving military personnel. Okay. Bitter culture war. Uh... I think we can go ahead and endorse this. So, patriots, conservatives, liberalism goes down. Uh, youth goes up, liberals go up. Okay. I think that sort of works out. So, if I look here. Yeah, so... Um, what we have, we just add... Yeah, okay, so... Basically... Patriots, the population proportion is not very high. So we don't have to keep them that happy, right? Um, I should... Uh, I'm trying to remember all of this. Yeah, but there are more liberal. Fewer patriots. Mostly capitalists. Okay, so... Okay, let's have a look at some effects. Uh, what was I looking at before? Antisocial behavior. Look at that. It's ticking down, right? It's going to take a few turns for this to fully take effect. There's inertia, basically. So CCTV cameras are being implemented right now. Antisocial behavior dropping. Good. Uh, what else did we change? Um, I dropped corporate tax, right? Which is supposed to be having a dropping effect on uncompetitive economy so that's going down it's gone from 72 percent to 67 percent not bad not bad okay we have 18 fists today uh what are we going to work on we we could look at more of these 
things. Respiratory disease, which is negatively effect affecting productivity. That's, that's bad. Car usage, tobacco usage. Maybe we can do something about tobacco usage. Oh wait, also, drug usage is gonna be a problem. Right? That's gonna be a thing. Legal drug consumption, okay. This is <laughs> affecting health and productivity, okay. So uh, it did say, if I have a look at um, here, so drug addiction is ticking upwards here. What can we do to deal with it? Um, deal with unemployment, prison overcrowding, poverty. Or we could increase police. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work really by itself. Uh, let's see if we can... Is this... That's inertia. Yeah, the, the lower the number here, the faster things take effect. Can we deal with unemployment? Industrial automation, GDP, employed benefits, retirement age. I can increase retirement age. Pushes productivity up. Trade unionists don't like it. Retire don't like it. Retired membership drops. Unemployment drops. State pension cost goes down. We can push it up to 75. Uh, I just need to see how many... Let's cancel. Trade unionists. Percentage of population is 27%. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot, isn't it? By the way, the people can belong to multiple groups here. So this is not all just one line like they can be capitalists and commuters you know you don't have to be uh not a capitalist to be a commuter <laughs> uh okay okay can i deal with the unemployment problem i mean let's see this is maybe that's just not such a huge thing like boosting productivity is sort of what we want, right? Wages. Can we increase wages? If we increase wages, we can drop payroll tax. Which makes... Generally... Everyone likes this, almost everyone likes this, because it costs me a lot of money, right? And we are currently not making a lot of money. Okay, you know what, what, what we might be able to do? Legalize cannabis. Legalize all drugs. Okay, so this is a policy. Let's revert those changes. Let's see, in tax... Hold on, let's see. Um, this is... Respiratory disease is here. Tobacco usage is here. Tobacco tax is here. I can... Inc can I... Everyone hates this. I can increase tobacco tax. It'll cost all 16 fists. I'll make more money. Tobacco usage goes down, which means respiratory disease should go down. Productivity should go up. Let's tax tobacco more. Okay. That's all our fists. It's going to make people unhappier. It's going to make us a bit more money, but hopefully it will help start... Oh, that's a huge... Oh, respiratory disease is so high. Uh, it's making parents unhappy. The environment is bad. It's not really affecting productivity, so I don't know. Oh well, that should get us more money. Let's go to the next quarter. See if they're rioting. Okay, things looking not so bad. 
Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. The United Nations is pushing for your country to sign a treaty that would ban us from carrying out any nuclear weapons test for research purposes. I think that's okay to sign. Yeah, that's good. Foreign relations up, environment is good. Patriots down a little bit and they're not even a huge voting base. So yes, I made the right choice, good. And it's a generally good thing. Polls report. Uh, our approvals dropped. Okay. <laughs> Gotta, hmm. I keep working on things. Things aren't quite good. If I look at respiratory disease, it's ticking down a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can... Are we Okay, look, antisocial behavior. Just those CCTV cameras. You see that? It's, it's still progressing, CCTV cameras. That should continue dropping antisocial behavior. So we're working on that. Uh, prison overcrowding. This doesn't look like such a huge thing. Crime. So if we drop crime, which is mainly antisocial behavior and alcohol abuse. Okay. Al alcohol consumption is affected by alcohol tax. This, sh this should <laughs> just increase alcohol tax to a massive amount. Sure. Okay, okay. We're, we're not banning alcohol, we're just taxing it insanely. We've got seven more fists. I don't think we can do all that much with that. Is this uncompetitive economy? So we want this to continue going down. We've dipped it down a little bit, but... Um, not a huge dent. Can we increase environmental protests? Oh, it just triggered. The environment is sort of triggering environmental protests, yes. Pollution controls. So this costs money, but it's only in the millions. Capitalists don't like this. Doesn't cost much. CO2 emissions goes down. GDP goes down a little bit. Capitalists. Yeah, capitalists don't like this. They're my, they're my largest voting base. You see, you see why this is tricky? Major fines on pollution controls. Can I do this? Yeah. Let's let's put in pollution controls. Okay, that only costs three fists. It, it doesn't affect too many people, so they don't care so much. You don't need to use so much political power. A cryptocurrency adoption. Oh, Democracy 4 is keeping up with the times. There's cryptocurrency in here. Skills shortage. So that's... Education. Oh, that only just triggered as well. Technology? Why is technology... Is that technology bad? Skill shortage. We could probably fix that with education. Technology colleges. So this increases education, technology, state employee, uh, state employee, state employees, membership. I can afford to do this politically. It's just a couple billion, right? So I can't... Yeah. Let's push up technology colleges and try boost our technology. Okay, I used all of my fists this turn. Looks good. Let's go to next, next quarter. Okay, a civil servant strike. 10% on everyone? Civil servants have voted to strike over pay. When your employer is the government, you cannot simply resign and find another job with a competitor. Civil service is often a thankless task, but remuneration to support reasonable standard of living should be expected. Civil servants' pay is too low. Our poverty has gone up. That's bad. 
It's because I've been taxing. Credit rating downgraded. The capitalists. No. <laughs> Business confidence. The global economy is doing well. Okay. My ministers are described as loyal. Okay, my popularity is tanking, so that's not good. Like it's it's tanking because it's it's the capitalists. We we have to get them happier. Look at them, they're, they're becoming so unhappy. Alcohol abuse it should start going down. Antisocial behavior continuing to go down. It's below the start trigger. It needs to keep going down. Um, I'm not sure if I've solved any problem. Prison overcrowding. It's slowly dipping down. Maybe that'll be a thing. Okay. Yeah. The music has gotten all ominous. Because no one likes us. Uncompetitive economy. So things are generally, I think, generally getting better. Media monopoly. Press freedom. I mean, it's already pretty high. What's the bad thing of pushing this up? Not much. It just costs some political stuff. Better democracy, a little higher on liberal liberalism, lower media monopoly. Let's just max out press freedom. Now, I think I, I just got to do something to deal with this. Income tax. If I drop income tax to, what is that, 1%? <laughs> It'll make people happier. But it'll cost me... I can't do that. We're getting 400 billion. Half our income comes from this. Obviously, that would make everyone like us. But can we actually do that? What, what else can we do? Get rid of benefits? Haven't I already... I've already dropped corporation tax, right? Dropping it further isn't going to help us too much. Maybe there's a new policy I can implement. Uh, economy. Uh, business startup campaigns. Which ones do capitalists like? We'll give you National Business Council. Okay. Estimated popularity with voters, 96% positive. Capitalist use, youths, young entrepreneur scheme. Okay, so National Business Council. Strong voice to business interests and ensures that the needs of business, both big and small, are taken into account. Let's implement this. That should keep them a little potential costs. Okay, let's implement this. And we can set it to what we want. Maximum. Yeah, it doesn't cost that much in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> 1.41 billion dollars. Eh, it's pocket change. Maximum National Business Council. Okay. Uh, perhaps we can implement another policy. Let's go to the economy. Self-employed uh, capitalists. City farms. Smart meter program. Environmentalists. Do we have a lot of environmentalists? Not a lot. Young Entrepreneur's Scheme. It's pretty cheap. Good with the capitalists. Let's implement this. Maximum. 
apply. Let's implement these business policies. Okay, let's see if we can turn this around. It's still early in our term. Let's go. Okay, crime. Crime has gone down. We have done one good thing. <laughs> crime is no longer red. It is now just orange. Okay. Oil drilling opportunity. Oil companies are keen to get permission to drill oil in parts of the country protected as a wildlife refuge. The oil supplies under the refuge are considerable, but the drilling would have a negative impact on the environment. But I bet the capitalists would love it. And if we want to stay in power, we're going to have to allow the drilling. They didn't even like it that much. 3%? I should like it more than that. Situation imminent. Drug addiction. It's still teetering. How, how do we solve this? Narcotics. Uh, prison overcrowding. Okay, can we boost private prisons? Crime goes down. Okay. Unemployment goes down. This this will deal with prison overcrowding. Doesn't have too much negative effect, and the capitalists like it. Look at that. All right, fine. Maximum funding for private prisons. Are you starting to understand this country now? <laughs> Security briefing. The Evangelical Alliance are holding town hall meetings to express their anger at the current government. Security effectiveness is poor. Well, our CCTV cameras are maxed. ID cards, curfews, detention without trial, inactive. Internet censorship, police drones, wiretapping, secret courts, torture, usage, tasers. Okay, I, I think we can leave that for now. I think we can leave it. All right, let's have a look at some of the other things. Antisocial behavior. We might actually be able to solve this problem with just the increase in CCTV cameras. Alcohol abuse. Oh, look. We're going to solve alcohol abuse by just massively taxing it. Uh, prison overcrowding. Hopefully that will tank soon. Respiratory disease. We only did a little bit of that. I, I don't know. We, we actually massively taxed tobacco. Oh no, we didn't massively tax tobacco. Right, because it makes everyone unhappy. Yeah, we... Uh, okay. By the way, to help make sense of all of this, here's something that's pretty cool. You can sort things by finances, value, influence, policy, popularity. So if we want to make people um, happier, we can undo some of these red ones. Policy popularities, prisons, police, Force, state postal service, tobacco tax, yeah, yeah, property tax, income tax, capital gains tax, payroll tax, corporation tax, minimum wage, agriculture subsidies, limited automated trading. I mean, it's minimum. It's having almost no effect. It, yeah, the, the color is not necessarily... Um, how much people don't like it. It's just the general consensus. Firearm laws. How does this affect things? Not that... Th I think... Yeah, let's go back to weighted. Okay. Our GDP is dropped as well, but it's ticking a bit up again. All right, let, let's see if there's any policies. Tourism ad campaign, boost tourism. 
rent controls. No. Let's go to economy, business, startup, self-employed. Anything for the capitalists? No. Taxes. Food price goes down, obesity goes down, health goes up, plant-based diet goes up. I think I gotta look for things, public says, that make people happy. Compulsory foreign language classes. Everyone sort of likes this. And racial tension goes down. Doesn't cost much. Let's... Let's do this. Most people like this. Maximum. Except for patriots. <laughs> racial tension goes down a bit. Let's apply this. Okay. Used all our fists. Our debt is 25 trillion. Not gonna worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna worry about it. How are things? Crime continues to go down. Poverty goes down. GDP goes up. Health goes up. Look at this. We're making some good decisions. Condemn refuse strike. Refuse collection workers are on strike in a dispute over pay. The trash is starting to pile up in the streets and people are understandably annoyed. The strike is legal, but there are health concerns and pressure for you to comment. I'm gonna pick what I think most people will like is and condemn it. <laughs> Socialist, trade unionist, capitalist. Okay. That works out. Alcohol abuse has subsided. I solved one of the situations. We're still running at a deficit. Okay. Okay. Capitalists liking us a bit more now. More than ever, I think. 44%, it's the highest it's been. All right, so popularity is still terrible. Trending upwards again, though, so that's that's good. That's good. Okay, so we've solved one problem. How's antisocial behavior? Ooh, we just need to push it a little bit more. I could boost up community policing. Yeah, just, just to there, I think. Oh, it doesn't take any capital to, to do this? Okay, so that should hopefully solve the antisocial behavior. How's this? Oh, we have solved prison overcrowding by just boosting up private prisons. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, trying to, to solve some of these... Is that all it did? State broadcaster. Capitalists don't like that. Um, media monopoly. What, what are the issues that we want to deal with? I mean, we're sort of helping that a little bit. Skill shortage. Trended down a little bit. Could I solve obesity? The GDP is causing obesity. I'm not sure if I can solve that. Healthcare demand. Healthcare demand dropped significantly. Is it because people are smoking and drinking less? Violent crime dropping. Good. Crime in general dropping. Okay, okay. We're solving some problems. Looks like... It's okay. Like even things like rare earth metal prices. It's going up. It's like, how does that play into to things? So I think at this point, since I don't want to work on any of our current policies, we can look at more policies to implement. Uh, carbon capture and storage, city farms, foreign investor tax breaks. Uh, helicopter money. <laughs> um, currency strength goes down right maternity leave 
Robotics Research Grants, Rural Development Grants, Small Business Grants. This could help things. Yeah, let, let's implement Small Business Grants. I think a medium amount is good. Self-employed, GDP, capitalist, socialism goes down. Self-employed members go up, self-employed income goes up. Okay, yeah, I think this is good. Let's do that. Alcohol awareness, tobacco awareness. Are we still dealing with a respiratory disease? Yes, because of tobacco usage. We can implement tobacco awareness campaign to try and reduce tobacco usage. Okay, that's good. Let's go. All right, all right. I think, I think generally things are going okay. All right, crime continues to go down. Nice. Prison overcrowding has been solved. So we've solved two problems now, great. Diplomatic immunity. A foreign diplomat has fled the country after allegedly killing a citizen in a car crash. They use their diplomatic immunity to travel back to their home nation, unchallenged by law enforcement. Although expected to obey the law, they are thousands of foreign dis diplomats within the borders operating above it. Why? Mm. Tonight's headline news. I have no idea why the government does this. It's about the right to die. Wants us to implement it. Not something I want to look at right now. Let's continue. Okay. So under law and order, we've solved two of the the red circles. Popularity is going back up, I think. Capitalists, a tiny bit higher. Wait, no. This is capitalists. Very much higher. 54%. Okay, okay. That's good. Overall, popularity is still pretty low. This red line is where we want to be above, I think. Uh, current value is 33%. Not so great. How are our issues? Respiratory disease going down. Beastie uh, ticking down a bit. Media monopoly. I think it's below the start trigger at least. Environmental protests also below the start trigger. Uncompetitive economy. Uh, better, but... Okay, so... Why is this person so bad? Oh, their loyalty is really low because they're trade unionist, right? I'd have to... Hmm. Okay. But that's in the tax section. Anti-social behavior. Oh, it's sort of flatlining here. Community policing is going to push it a little bit more. Can I lower unemployment? What's... Industrial automation. Hmm... So I want to see. So these are the things that are increasing unemployment. I could lower unemployed benefits. By by some, by some, not not by, okay, not by a lot. Just some, just some, just some. Look at more policies. We we basically want to keep people happier as well. Smart meter programs, city farms, business startup campaign. Yeah, let's implement this. Maximum. Yeah, apply. So we're doing lots of business things. Good. 
we can do some transports of some infrastructure stuff, right? Health, car usage, bus usage, rail usage, obesity, environmental bicycles, subsidies, carpooling campaign, cycling campaign, telecommuting initiative. Hmm. Everyone sort of... Youth, environmentalists, health, plant-based diets, healthy eating, eating campaigns, parents, parents, youth. How many parents do we have? Parents are there, youth is there. I mean, it's uh, together. If it's together, then it's sort of kind of worth it. Plastic bag tax. Health food subsidies. No one likes the plastic bag tax. <laughs> But it has potential income. You know, lots of people like this. Let's implement this. Yeah, just to leave it at medium amount. Everyone sort of likes it. Yeah, telecommuting initiative. Good. And I think... Tourism ad campaign. Alcohol awareness. Uh, we've solved the alcohol problem. This is relatively cheap. Cyberbullying awareness campaign. Parents and youth because it's two groups. Yeah, let's apply a cyberbullying awareness campaign. We might be overspending, but you know, I think it's okay. Let's go. Next turn. Next turn. Things are trending, trending well. Okay. Uh, GDP up, crime down. Good, good. Allow foreign fighters to return. Some of our religious citizens left our country to fight a religious war overseas, a war that in many ways threatened our interest and security. That fighting has now ended, and the fighters have expressed regret for their actions and desire to return home. I think people would not want them. I think more people would be on the side on this. Block them from returning. Sure. Message from Minister Gabriel Lopez. Needs to talk to you urgently. Low loyalty, huh? Currently working as a Secretary of Transportation, is tired of serving in your government and may wish to leave their position and possibly politics altogether. You may be able to persuade them to stay by taking steps further. Gabriel Lopez, huh? You? Are you good? You're not even that good. You're not that great either. Um, I think we reshuffle the cabinet now. Because these, these guys are like costing us fists. I'm going to fire you and fire you. Yeah, let's reshuffle these. Secretary of Treasury. Uh, let's sort by loyalty. <laughs> and then pick someone who's relatively good on the others, experience in campaigning. So, yeah, I think we start here. Um... Low experience, like very low experience is probably pretty bad. Yeah, I think we, we just picked the top. This is this is not bad. Let's hire Brian Morris. And then Secretary of Transportation. Experience low, liberal, wealthy, 2.2. You gain experience on the job. <laughs> That sounds about right. Okay, there. We've reshuffled our cabinet. And our cabinet likes us a bit more. Commuters liking us more. Capitalists. Okay, they're up to 58%. Our overall popularity. Looking good. Looking good. Alright. Uh, parents liking us more as well. Okay, th these are generally looking nice. Antisocial behavior. Ah, almost, almost. I think... 
Maybe just a little bit more time. We'll deal with it. Yeah, community policing is still coming into effect. So we should be able to solve at least three of these problems. Okay. Are there any... I think to do anything that would make us money. Keep the country tidy. Youth politics. How many environmentalists do we have? Uh, it's an okay amount. Free parenting classes. Parents, population goes up. Parents. The environment, environmentalists. Keep the country tidy campaign. It's generally good all around. We'll just... Yeah, we can we can just max this out. Apply. Okay. Nice. Let's go next turn. So things stay a little bit there. Climate change protocol. The United Nations Climate Change Conference signed a new protocol to limit the emissions of greenhouse gases. Look, we're still trying to get the capitalist happy, so we're not gonna ratify. <laughs> Uh, I wish I could, but I need to be re-elected. Foreign relations down, environmentalists down. Hey, we, we gotta keep a tidy campaign going. Capitalist 10%? Okay. <laughs> uh, cabinet report is loyal. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so come on. This... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, antisocial behavior. It's gonna be solved. It's at 39%. Three situation solved i wonder what you got to do to get a good situation oh look at our popularity oh look at that decisions are being made and they're paying off we made some unpopular decisions to start out but it's looking good now looking good okay so now um could i solve our expenditure military spending if i can I just tank military spending? Can I kill our military? How, how many fists do we need to drop it? 22, no, I need 22 fists to kill military spending. Can I get 22 oh you can't you can't just kill military spending huh it would solve our financial difficulties I can cut like 40 billion from it Let's do that first. So it will save some money. This is looking bigger. Okay. So the size of the circles is basically how important they are. Okay. So with that, are there any other... Hmm. Those environmental protests are definitely going to be going back up. None of these other situations are close to being solved. Like, I don't even know how to... Like, I'd like to solve the media monopoly one, but I'm not even sure if there's any policies we could implement to do with that. Automation tax. No, we don't want that. Enterprise investment scheme. Most seem to like this. Let's implement this. Up to 12 billion. Let's, let's keep it in the middle. Let's do that. Okay, good. I really want to kill our military spending. <laughs> it's so much money going to... Uh, at the moment, 
nothing I want to worry about. Oh, look at crime. Crime has gone so far down. Antisocial behavior solved. Three problems solved. All right, now what is this? Global hit drama. Uh, domestic period drama has become a global sensation. Over 100 countries have purchased the rights to broadcast the show. Its mass appeal has yielded television awards around the world. This entertainment phenomenon is now one of the nation's biggest exports. Patriot, tourism, foreign relations. A good event. Wow. Tonight's news all over the headline. Bright intelligent students who want university grants. You know what? Well, I'll, I'll come back to that. Maybe. Maybe. That's a maybe from me. Popularity is looking amazingly good. Um, so I, I think at this point I can start spending some popularity. Oh, this is still on the way down. You, we could do it bit by bit, I think. But it, it takes so long to, to drop spending. Okay. Let, let's find some other expenditure so a lot of it's in debt interest which is not great um state pensions this uh i think we can do this <laughs> this this will save us quite a bit of money drop this to low yeah apply that okay we're gonna try and somehow get a surplus here do i want to no i think i'll just yeah i think i'll just do that and then go to the next turn okay appoint un ambassador that's an urgent okay tanya robinson dennis gonzalez I have to... L they... Hold on. Wait, that's the wrong key. This one. Can we be... Oh, I suppose it's just... It is just uh, descriptions here. Well known as a patriot who fights tooth and claw to get our interests represented at the UN. Seen as a popular choice among patriotic and more conservative citizens. Okay, reputation for solving difficult problems through compromise and understanding. True internationalists, popular with liberals and socialists in the country as well as foreign leaders. I'm going to go with Dennis Gonzalez. Works for me. Budget report, small deficit deficit of 38 billion. Okay, okay. We're we're getting close here. Yeah, the military spending is slowly ticking down. I think I just have to cut that a bit more and then we can actually start lowering our debt, amazingly. Uh, we have 20 fists. We have a little bit carryover from last time. Popularity is... Yeah, I, th I think I'm happy with this. Voting intention, 80% intend to vote. That's actually amazing. Let's see if I can potentially solve any of these. Obesity. Maybe I can solve obesity. Because that... Yeah. Let's uh, go to policies. Would it be... Economy, tax, plus welfare. Is there anything we can... Rent controls, welfare, fraud department, winter fuel subsidy. Uh, hybrid cars initiative. Any of these... Is there any way we can solve this problem? Lower car usage? Petrol tax. Oh, this will boost our income. Lower car usage. And not 
upset people too much. Yeah, let's apply this petrol tax. Food price. Currency strength, oil price. So food price, can we lower food price? Agricultural subsidies. We can increase agricultural subsidies to lower food price. Okay, that sounds good. And you know what? Let's have a tourism ad campaign to boost tourism and foreign relations. Okay, good. <laughs> That's, that seems good. Ah, next turn. We're gonna spend some of our popularity. GDP went down a little bit, okay. Credit rating upgraded though. Major international credit agencies have increased the credit worthiness of our government. This is great news. It should result in lower interest rates, probably because we're lowering our deficit. Business confidence, GDP, capitalists. Great. Yeah, and lines go up. Nice. Okay, so our deficit is now just 31. I can now drop our military spending from 111 to 72. Just kill military spending. <laughs> and we're gonna start making money. That's, that's gonna be good, right? We're gonna be actually making money for once. Okay, tobacco usage. Ban tobacco. What is this? Um, is this like restricting? Yeah, I can, I can just push up this to try and maybe start working on solving respiratory disease. These law and order problems were much easier to solve. You just throw money at it and it, it solves itself. <laughs> These other more social problems, a little bit trickier. Hmm. See, obesity just went back up. Why? I and mean, I feel like there needs to be more policies. Healthy eating campaign. Yeah, let's implement this. Maximum. Healthy eating campaign. Apply. Okay, we'll try that and go next turn. High rise blaze. A domestic appliance fault caused a deadly blaze in a high rise apartment block. Combination of poor building construction, lack of regulatory enforcement, and unprepared firefighting services. Okay. They're a small demographic. I mean, voting intentions are at 86%. Can you believe 86% of people intend to vote? And our approval rating 66%? Nice. Okay, we're pulling down respiratory disease. Not much of a dent there. Maybe I can improve the environment somehow. Clean energy subsidies. I can push this from 4 to 11 billion. All demand, CO2 emissions, energy industry, the environment, environmentalists, capitalists. Capitalists don't like this, but I think we can afford it now. We've given the capitalists enough. Let's help the environment. This is how we do it. We get the capitalists on our side and then we do whatever we want. Because even if they don't like it, they like the other stuff we did. So military spending. Yeah, it's just going down. Deficit is 21 billion. Are there any other taxes we could... Increase tobacco tax. So yeah, now I can increase tobacco tax. Right? 
to drop tobacco usage and yes okay so increase tobacco tax even more so make more money military spending will go down okay people should continue to like us oh this is this is much easier to see okay there this of course there, there's ui options for everything there this this is now in order of size of demographic good so the red arrows down here not so bad <laughs> uh, so okay we can care about the wealthy the least we don't have to care about the wealthy there's so few of them how many votes are there what there's like <laughs> we're not gonna win us an election with votes Appoint senior judge. Strong support of human rights, making many landmark rulings of individuals and liberties. Pro consumer. Not afraid to challenge large corporations. Rulings concerning violent crimes. Often outspoken views on the harsh sentences that she feels would be applied to thieves. Oh. Both of these judges are against bad things. This one will upset the capitalists. This might... Hmm. Reduce... Hmm. This, this might increase crime, but we've done a lot of things to reduce crime. Let's appoint Alice Reed. Wait, no. Crime goes down for that. Wait, did I misread this? Thanks to many famous rulings concerning violent crimes and are often outspoken views on the harsh sentences that she feels should be applied. Oh, I've misread it. <laughs> I thought it was the literal opposite. Oh well, things happen. Uh, campaign speeches available. Okay, hold on. Campaign speeches. The elect election draws near and you may want to take some time out of government to hold a campaign rally and deliver a speech. Yes, I want to. Uh, our popularity has never been higher. 67%, 87% intent to vote. Generally, everyone's liking us. Respiratory disease is trending downwards. Obesity... It's, it's so hard to solve obesity, huh? How about environment? Okay, we might be able to solve environment protests in time. Uncompetitive economy for the first time is down to the start trigger. So, um, who doesn't like us who's high? Religious, liberal, middle income. Okay, campaign speeches. The scriptwriters have prepared some punchy slogans Okay. Conservatives down, liberals. Okay, this is trade unionists, retired, wealthy. We don't have to care about the wealthy. Self-employed. Where's self-employed? Okay, so is there anything for middle-income people? Conservatives. I could just give a soundbite for the farmers. I mean, this doesn't make anyone unhappy. This sends down conservatives. Where are conservatives? Still pretty high. That This is not worth it. Retired? Youth. Oh, we don't need the retired. Trade unionists? Self-employed. Self-employed is there. Not sure if that's worth it. That that could be worth it. Youth, retired, farmers. Maybe I just give a speech for the farmers. It's a middling demographic, but it's only good. Safe speech. 
Oh, right. I haven't done this before. Uh, wide books groups all of those. High value is obviously better. Few speeches will please everyone. Farmers. I like you guys. <laughs> so th this is the... The cheering. Look, it, it's an only positive speech. It upsets no one. Everyone loves it. Farmers, plus 15%. They love it. Great. Farmers. Nice. <laughs> that, that should just boost our popularity up a little bit more. Oh, um, one of our advisors doesn't like us. Why? I don't know why this guy's loyalty has dropped. Parents, liberal. Do they generally like us? Parents? Yeah. Oh well. Um, we've got nine more fists. It's approaching election season. Uh, what can we put in? Welfare fraud department. Economy, city farms, food price down, farmers, farmers membership. How's our... Oh, we're almost, we're almost in the positive for the first time. I do want to solve that. His military spending is still going down. I can push up tobacco tax even further. Let's do that. We'll push up tobacco tax, and next turn we should actually be in a surplus, because that's bringing in more money and military spending should continue to drop. Good. Oh, we're turning a profit, turning a profit. Based on the new banknotes. Huh. Archbishop Fernando Martinez. Natalie Garcia. So this is dependable and pure, strong belief, many are a bit more... Bit much for liberals, he serves a role model for conservatives. This one, uh, been on the front line to defend human rights from anyone anywhere in the world. This has brought her trouble with many major corporations, but the people love and support her with her face on the banknote. Was corporations don't like her? I think we can afford to, to upset the corporations at this point. Oh, it's just the religious that got upset. It's fine. Foreign relations, liberal, liberalism. Actually, that's not so fine. Because they're actually quite high. Dustin Gray, you're not happy. Do another campaign speech. Who's this? Patriots? Hmm. This is good. Conservatives just a little unhappy, but very happy for the liberals. Let's give this speech. Liberals up 15, conservatives down 5, and we have more liberals and conservatives. Great! Uh, if I'm looking at... Parties... The Zakalitan League versus the Absolute Unit Party. <laughs> fanatically supportive, fanatically opposed. Okay, I think... Manifesto pledges, speeches, fundraising. Looks like we've raised quite a bit of more money than the absolute unit. Perceptions. Trustworthy. I could do a media stunt. I could do a media stunt to convince people I'm more compassionate. Oh, maybe I can't afford it right now. 
Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think I think we're pretty clearly gonna win this, right? Our approval's up to 70%, 90% intent to vote, really? Okay, respiratory disease, trending downwards, obesity, going back up. Okay, I'm giving up on obesity. Environmental protests, trending downwards. Okay, um, deficit is 2 billion. Really? Are we still not? Okay, I'm just going to drop military spending even further. I want to be in the positive. Okay. I think, I think I'm just going to leave it there. Because right, I don't think I can do much more for respiratory disease. We've we've really taxed tobacco. I mean, it's really the environment that's kind of the problem here. But we've got the clean ed energy subsidies. Can I boost up? Okay, it's fine. I think we got this. I think we got this. Foreign neighboring nuclear missile test. Neighboring isolation nation has tested missiles and nuclear program near our border. And we said we wouldn't do that. Credit rating downgraded? Oh, why? Uh, uh, okay, fine. Manifesto promises available. Manifest uh, raised by 50%. I don't think I can do that. Do I need to do this? Cut income tax by 25%. You know, I think we can... retired. I think we can get away with no manifesto pledges. I don't think we need to pledge anything. I think people like us enough. Be filmed feeding a baby lamb. Attend a funeral of a police officer. Capital cost. Impact on perceptions. Give speech in church after shooting. Jeez. Visit aftermath of flood. Success chance. Um, we should probably... So this is in order of success chance. Impact on perceptions, 19%. <laughs> sure, let, let's feed a baby lamb. Oh, look, I'm feeding a baby lamb. Of course I'm compassionate. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course, yes. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, surplus. We have a surplus. Look at that. Our debt is actually going down for the first time ever. And I want to continue to drop that debt by cutting military spending. Okay, that's going to get us enough money to do whatever we want. Um, I probably want to try and do other things, but... I'm going to spend all of this. Bicycle subsidies, health, car usage, buses. So yeah, we can implement bike, bicycle subsidies, maximum, apply. There we go. Okay, popularity, going back down a little bit. Oh no, maintain 70%, yeah, okay, good. Election results. Turnout, activity boost, spending boost. Perceptions, impact, spending impact, ministers impact, okay. The Zack and Lighten League, the absolute unit party, smaller parties, non-voters. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's start the count. Oh, it's a landslide. Congratulations to me. I won the election. Thank you. Thank you all so much for your support. I'm uh, 
proud and glad to serve you for another term. <laughs> oh, look at that majority. 84% of the vote. 180 million people voted for me. Half, almost half the nation voted for me. That's amazing. Anyway, that is the end of our encounter into Democracy 4. There is so, so much more you could do here, so much more you can experiment with and play around with, have randomized starts, and of course I was in an easier country. It, it can get much, much trickier than that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Post-election reshuffle? No. I hope you enjoyed this. Because I do think it is very, very interesting and quite fun to mess around with. So thank you so much to Democracy4 for sponsoring this video. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to check out the game, click out any of the links down below. Or there should be a button right here. And all of that. Thank you so much for joining. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.